Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, welcome back. I hope everyone out there is um, safe. Also, um, I hope everyone out there is stocking up on supplies. There is a um, lot of items that I purchased in the past. And I went back and checked the, the cost um, today. And man... You would be surprised how the prices have increased. So if you can, man, you want to go get anything you may you may need, man. We're not talking about uh, going out there and buying a bunch of junk food. We're talking about stuff that's going to get you um, out of a situation or help you through a situation. Power goes out. You got a generator. You don't know if it runs. You should be taking that sucker out right now and making sure everything is operational. Making sure you got fresh gas on hand. You never know when that power is going to go out. Making sure you got backup food, water, man. You got to start with that. You got to start with the food and water. If you can, each time you travel out, man, get yourself a, 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 um, some, a canned good. Get yourself something. Because you're going to need it. You are definitely going to need it, man. There is a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there, man. I witnessed this firsthand. I witnessed this firsthand. That are, I mean, losing their jobs. Losing their homes. Just, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm walking, you know, going up to my, my um, going up the street. And uh, uh, the company I work for, it's, it's, in a, it's in like, an, I wouldn't say, it's in the suburbs. It's kind of wooded, you know. So I'm looking and I see tents. First, it was one tent. It was one tent in the woods. You know, I didn't you might take nothing of it. Then it's two tents. And this is a commercial area. But like I said, it has some it has some wood, it has some some woods and stuff like that. Now it is it is four tents set up in the woods. And I seen the gentleman um, who first set up the tent in there and he looked like he was going to work. He would actually park his bike over there and in, in, in the um, across the street in, the, in our lot on a bike rack. And then he goes in his tent. So, man, I, listen, you don't know if you're going to be that person that gets laid off. You don't want to wait. This economy, man, is in shambles. If you can't see that, then you need to go ahead and get your eyes checked. But the stuff I, I purchased in the past, man. Let me show you something. Hold up. This here. This here. Now, if you, I bought this, um, let me see. When I first started on uh, YouTube, I started out with this here. You know, stocking up on these um, food rations. I bought this out of Walmart for, um, this was like maybe four Almost five dollars. This was almost five dollars. And when I started purchasing these, man, you, they had them on the shelf. Now they want nineteen ninety nine, twenty dollars for one. Twenty dollars, and you can't even find them in Walmart anymore. Twenty dollars. This was. 
Five dollars. Now they hype the su the sucker up to twenty dollars, and then you got to get it shipped. So then you got to pay a shipping fee. But these are twenty dollars. These were this was five dollars. Unbelievable. Also, these um, forty eight hour. Let me let you guys see this. See that? The 48 hour emergency food. This was uh it was 20, it was 21. You know, it was 29.99 when I when I purchased these in Walmart. They don't even sell these in the Walmarts anymore. When they uh changed their planogram, they took these off the shelf. In my area. They took them off the shelf. Now you have to order them. They are $28.99 now. $28.99. I'm telling you, if you need supplies, it is not a game out there, man. Everything is changing. The economy is tanking. You need to get what you need now. I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a lot of people out there looking for a handout. They're going to be knocking on your door. Family members. People who want to just uh, 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 go on these expensive trips. They don't know, man. They don't know if they're going to have a job when they come back. So that's what I've been doing. I've been stocking up on my stuff, man. Getting my generators ready. Buying extra supplies. I know a lot of you don't shop on eBay. But I'm going to tell you, man. You can find a lot of deals on eBay. I've been with eBay since 2013. I'm talking about shopping. You know, some uh, uh, sellers out there, you got to look at the seller history. You just don't buy from anybody. You look at the seller history. There's a percentage. There's a certain percentage of, of rating. And you can go back and say, oh, OK, you can actually read the comments. So that's what I do, man. And you have a lot of these big uh, 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 um, big box stores. Um, have it? They have the eBay, eBay uh, sites. I just bought some um, air filters, and I'm thinking that they're going to come from um, somewhere else. And guess what? They came straight from Home Depot. Six air filters for my um, my heat pump. Sixteen dollars. So I've been stocking up, man. I don't have time to be playing around. I see what's going on. So I just went, been going down my list, man. What I have here, I got um, the first thing I got is uh, getting your car battery and your charging system checked. You can go to any AutoZone, any um, Advanced Auto, and you can get all that stuff done for free. Um, getting your... Check your tires. If you need new tires, man, don't wait. Uh, get yourself some multivitamins. Like I said, if you got a generator that's been sitting in storage, get that sucker out, man. Make sure it's working. Make sure those snow blowers are working. Make sure anything that you have in there is working. I'm talking about chainsaws and all that. You don't know if you're going to have a, a, a tree tree down. Um, if you live in an, an, an apartment and you don't have a generator, you don't have a, a solar a power generator, you want to get some, some blankets, you want to get some candles, man. I got these candles, right? These candles about, they like that. Man, you get about two or three of them, man. You put them suckers together, man. 
shit, you believe it or not, power go out, that's a source of heat. Get yourself a, a, a zero sleeping bag. Get all of that stuff. No power. Pipes frozen. What are you going to do? Make sure you got bottled water on hand. That's not it. Make sure you have MREs, man, ready to eat. These come with a heater. You don't need nothing else. You can get a whole box of these off of Amazon, man. You know? I was talking to one seller on Amazon and I bought two cases. He threw he threw another case in free. Don't wait, man, until this stuff is expensive. This is a whole meal. Take this sucker out. You got um some of this is uh, I think this is this is a lasagna. Uh in this one you have um what else? Um, got yourself a little Tootsie Roll, a Pop-Tart, and I think something else, some type of um, bread. And it's pretty good. But it has its own heater. Power's out. You don't have no gas, no electric. Get yourself something like this, these MREs. I'll leave the link on where you can purchase it. But you don't want to wait until the price is jacked up. I'm telling you. Because prices are going up. And let's get back to this list. Um, also, get yourself some flashlights. Get yourself a radio. If you can, get the solar or get the crank. Rechargeable batteries. Telling you, I got all that stuff. I went through an emergency one time, man. And um, power was out for two weeks. This is before I even started prepping. No generator. Nothing. Nothing. Only thing that was working was um, the water. And what happened was we had a, we had a big storm. And trees were down. And uh, two doors down from me, um, a tree went down and it fell on the power line. So for two weeks, we were without power. Because believe it or not, if a tree falls down and it's on your property, you have to get the tree removed off of that line. That's what I was told. You know, so for two weeks, man, that section, we didn't have no power. And this was in the, um, this was in the city. This one, this is when I was living in the city. The city would not touch it because it was on someone else's property, even though it was laying on a power line. This is when everybody was, you know, looking around, trying to figure out what was going on. But yeah, man, power was down for two weeks. No generator, no nothing. And I told myself, listen, once I get out of this, I'm going to get me a generator. And, and, and that just transformed me. It, it just transformed everything, man. I said, nah, I'm not going to be in this situation like this anymore without no generator. But yeah, man. Get yourself a flashlight with um uh with some a solar that, that can be charged up solar, hand crank radios, uh blankets, canned goods, stuff like that, man. That's what you want to be stocking up on. Um so that's basically what I've been doing. Each time I go out, I'm buying canned goods, I'm getting my stuff ready. Because around here, man, they got a, 
I'm in a rural area. And I know how it gets when it when it's storm. Power goes out, people looking around and and, 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 and and they don't have nothing. Emergency bulbs, candles, anything that's gonna help you and your family out. But the first thing you wanna do, man, make sure you have a bottle of water. Get yourself some food. Don't buy anything else until you get enough food, emergency food, bottled water, and then you start working on your generator. That's for anyone who's starting out. And make sure you have a way to protect that stuff. The stuff hit the fan, man, and 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 and, and people can't people hungry. They're gonna be breaking in people's houses. If it gets like that, I'm not saying it can't. All this stuff is going on. They snatching and grabbing, or, or smashing and grabbing. They doing it all. So, I've just been working on a lot of things, man. Stocking up, uh, putting extra hours in, man. Because you don't know what's going to take place. You may get laid off. You may be in a tent. You may be at a relative's house. Or you may just be on the street. Because things is... It, man, this, this economy is all over the place. So that's what I've been doing. Taking care of stuff, man. Getting stuff done. So get your list ready. Write everything down that you that you're gonna need, and just check it off. Cause trust me, when the weather change and 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 and, and it, it start getting cold out there, or an event happen where you're locked down again. And the people fighting over toilet paper. You don't want to be in those stores. Because they're going to clear those suckers out. So do what you got to do. Keep on prepping. And I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.